we talk about this all the time, but I, I thought the Obi Wan and Maul confrontation is one of the coolest things, um, and unexpected. And it's not even so much the fight. I know everyone goes into detail like, ah, oh, you know, K- K- Maul is using this stance or whatever, and it's it's quick and it's masterful, and that's great. For me, it is the compassion of Obi-Wan Kenobi in that moment and all the shit that he's been through, this villain who's been hunting him down his entire life pretty much, he just holds him and shows him compassion just like he did, you know, his master, just like he did uh, Satine. He, He held him just like that. And it just blows me away. And, I mean, Maul's kind of revelation in that moment um, I don't want to call it, you know, that he's like turned to the light or something, but something changed in him seeing that from, from Obi-Wan Kenobi. And yeah, he still wants vengeance, but like has nothing to do with Obi-Wan Kenobi. And he realizes that in that moment, that compassion that Obi-Wan showed. It, that, that is such a, and it also shows the mastery, not, not the skills of Obi-Wan Kenobi, but that he is a true Jedi master in that moment. Um, that it truly was, you know, it just like compassion is the way of the Jedi. Um, and he is really the one who ultimately nailed that down and, and is redefining what a Jedi should mean for the future. It's just a stunning moment. I was not expecting it at all. Uh, we've gotten so many Maul and Obi-Wan confrontations, but like I could not believe they brought that into Rebels and it worked. It worked. It is a, a teaching moment for Ezra. Um, it was, you know, the end of Maul. It just, it really showed the true evil in the galaxy was the Emperor. Um, and, and Maul was just a little misguided. And I think he realized kind of the errors of his ways. Um, and, the tragedy and it, of Maul. It, it, Maul. it is. And it's just like, Obi-Wan isn't the one that like, you were so misguided in, in that hatred. And it wasn't Obi-Wan that you, you should have directed that towards it. It was another, it's just an amazing moment. I know a lot of people feel that way. I just, I cannot believe they brought that into rebels. Uh, Luke, is there anything about that, that, that moment there on, on Tatooine? We see a young Luke too. Um, you know, he, I think Maul says he, will he avenge us or he will he avenge will us avenge all. Us. It's like, what? Like what, 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 what do you ever think about that moment when you think of rebels? Oh, definitely. Yeah. That's one of the most powerful moments of the series and, and kind of a, a detour in the story yeah. that we, you, you end up there. But I think there's, there's several moments in the series when you start to think about them, um, that I hope, uh, sort of are, are captured in a way in the new Kenobi series, yep. not, as sort of direct copies, but just rebels got some of these characters. So right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and, and showed them in such profound moments that I hope that they capture the same sort of spirit in types of moments in the Kenobi series. And I'll probably talk about one, one later on my list, but this is one that like just shows the, the creators of this show, you know, Filoni largely and the others that worked on it. Um, they, they brought, all the history of, of Obi-Wan into that yeah. moment and Maul, Maul's history as well. All that we know that they've been through. And like you said, I, I love the mirror of Obi-Wan's held people in this exact yeah. moment before people struck down by a lightsaber who are meant or something meaningful yeah. to him. And you know, Maul as a, as an adversary is still something meaningful to him. And that, um, the same moments he had with Qui-Gon and Satine and, and Maul, um, that sort of, reflection yeah a repeated reflection of those moments is really interesting and powerful so unexpected holly huge mall fan i'm a big mall fan yeah. though it's his demise i mean you, when you watched it for the first time and then again i feel like you may be welling again. up right now are you getting a little emotional thinking it was about actually it? a super emotional scene because i think something that is make not like nervous. I'm not like nervous about the Obi Wan show. I'm yeah, very excited yeah. for it. For me personally, something that makes me a little bit nervous is just like having to like see Obi Wan in this like lonely state of mind. Yeah. And I don't know. That's just like very heartbreaking for me. But <laughs> yeah. I loved what you said about how this scene with Mom 
this confrontation that they have. I actually had this one on my list too. So Let's I was go. like, I was prepared. Cross it off. Um, but how he, Maul is like berating him about yeah. like, you coward, like you, yeah. you're here on this, in this desert by yourself. He Come says, on, Holly. he calls him like a little rat on Tatooine or something yeah. like that. And he's like, look how low you've sunk. Yeah. And then what you were saying about how Obi-Wan has really grown and learned so much. Obi-Wan literally says to him, look how high I've risen. Yeah. And I just thought Come that, that on, I mean, chill. that was amazing. Let's go. Look how high I've risen. And it's like the, the growth that you don't see him go through yeah. in that moment, but you can just imagine he's a very different Obi-Wan that yeah. we saw before. You're absolutely right. And I just, I don't know. Anyway, I had that on my list too. I just thought that was such a fantastic moment. I think we watched that episode. Yeah. I think we rewound it and I made you play it again. Absolutely. I, I love that you brought up the the initial conversation they're having. It's on Tatooine. Like Luke said, it is kind of a detour, but like, boy, what a what a moment. They're around this campfire, just like <laughs> Maul covers the fire with dirt. And I, I had actually forgotten a lot of the dialogue. I'm glad you brought that up of just look what I've risen, you know, and referring to Satine. Things that Maul doesn't, well, he does a lot of it. I mean, he's killed, you know, he's killed yeah. his, his, his could have been lover um, and his, his master. So he's been there for a lot of it. Um, but there's things that he still doesn't even know that Obi-Wan's overcome. And look what I've overcome. You have all this hatred for me for what the wrongs you think I've done to you, but like I've risen above any sort of hatred that could have come from all that you've taken from me. Yeah. I'm here on this lonely planet, but I serve a bigger purpose. Mm -hmm. And we didn't see like Obi-Wan didn't fully understand at, at the end of revenge. Like, what are we doing? Like, we're going to split these kids up, but like what, what's, and we see that in a little bit of the, uh, the, from a certain point of view stories and even the comics, like he's still just, what is my purpose here? And, I love that you're saying this Kenobi series is prime for us seeing that transition. We've seen the confused, what am I doing here? What purpose do I serve? And then we've seen the master and we're going to see how he got there. And it's going to be so freaking emotional. I can't wait for it. I know.